Alright, so as promised, this video is going to be about how to sell your Varus coin. Um, I will try to make this video as smooth and as detailed as possible. Um, I'll be going through the steps um, one by one, uh, just as if this was my first time doing it, uh, because this is going to be actually my first time doing this. Uh, I went through a full, thorough process of going through Safe Trade and realized that to actually cash out, they had insanely high fees and minimum withdrawal amounts that just didn't make, it wouldn't work. So for the sake of this video, we're going to be going through Trade Ogre. So I'm right here on the Varus website, varus.io slash exchanges. We're going to go down to Trade Ogre and go on their website. We're at tradeogre.com. You're going to click the button up here. You're going to click sign in and we're going to register. Once you register, it should sign you in. We're going to do that right now. So the first thing you need to do when you log in is go up here and hit security. It's going to bring you to this page and you need to enable two-factor authentication. Um, so it looks like these are the apps you can use, if I'm not mistaken, TOTP, Authy, and Google Authenticator. I will be using Google Authenticator. Um, so I'll try to show the process for that right now. All right, so this is the Google Authenticator app that you can download from the App Store. Uh, we're gonna hit this plus button down here. We're gonna hit enter a setup key. And the key is going to be manual code right here. We're gonna copy this, go back and paste. And we're going to name this trade ogre add. Now we have our trade ogre code. We're going to hold this down so it can copy it. Go back and paste and save. So now it shows as active and that's what we want. Uh, because I don't believe it will let us trade unless we do two-factor authentication. So that has to be done. Um, all right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is find our Ferris coin. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit our little profile at the top and hit balances. It's going to bring us to here, which is basically all of the wallets that are supported in Trade Ogre. We're going to search for Varus coin, V R S C. We want to deposit Varus coin. So this is the address that we're going to send our Varus coin to from our Varus coin mobile app. So we're going to copy this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Varus mobile app. Okay, once we're here, we're going to go over to Varus. We're going to hit send. Enter manually. And sending from is going to stay the same. Recipient address is where we're going to paste what we just copied from Trade Ogre. The amount is whatever you're going to want to sell. Do keep in mind there is a minimum withdrawal uh, or, or a fee. Uh, there is a fee on Trade Ogre. It's not very much, um, but you really probably shouldn't be doing this unless you're trying to transfer a couple, at least a couple dollars worth over. For the sake of this video, just to make sure there's no problems, I'm going to do 10 Varus coin, uh, which equates to $3.83. So let's send, and this could take a while, so send it over. Confirm everything's right, looks good, send it over. It's going to take a little while to actually send over. But we can go back and hit done here. Okay, so it's showing up, but it still has to confirm 
the transaction. Um, so that could take a while. The last time I did it to safe trade, it took about 10 minutes. Um, and if you're bored or just curious and you want to actually view the transaction, you can hit details over here and it'll take you to the page and actually show you the transaction on the blockchain. Um, unconfirmed, uh, unconfirmed transaction. And once it starts actually doing what it's supposed to do, you'll see it start to confirm everything. And, you know, you can kind of either refresh here and look at it. Um, or you can look at it here, but either way, it's going to take a while. So, um, best to just kind of leave it for about 10 minutes and come back to it. So I'll go ahead and skip this part. All right. After about 45 minutes, we are successful with 30 out of 30 confirmed. Now our next step is to exchange our various coin, most likely for Bitcoin. So let's go to markets. Let's type in VRSC and we're going to click right here where it says VRSC to BTC. Okay. And I'll give you guys a quick explanation of what this is. If we scroll down, we have what's called an order book. These are the purchase orders that people have set for Veriscoin, and these are the sell orders that people have set. Um, so basically, to put it in simpler terms, if you wanted to sell your Veriscoin right now where you knew that you'd have a buyer, because again, this isn't like you're selling Bitcoin where there's millions in, uh, of transactions ready to go and you know millions of people thousands of people constantly trading it um this is very low volume so if you just set a market sell um you don't really know what you're going to get um so anyways to get to my point um these are the purchase orders so somebody wants to buy 63 vares coin at a price of point zero 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 one four three zero bitcoin so we know if we sell for that amount that this person's purchase order will fill and our sell order will fill um so that's probably what we're going to end up doing so we're going to go up here to sell and we're going to sell 10 Veris coin. Um, and it's it looks like it's a, yeah, it's putting in the price for us, so we don't have to worry about that. That looks like it's supposed to be the price of the Bitcoin. Um, but the fact that it put the price in here, I'm not really worried about this. I think we're just going to go ahead and click sell. Um, Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go to balances. Go over to Bitcoin. And three dollars and seventy two cents. So no, it looks like everything went through um as it should have, because uh, I think that's about the amount that I transferred over um in Varus coin. Uh so now to get this out of Trade Ogre we are going to withdraw. Now, this is where your personal preference comes in, into play. Wherever you buy your Bitcoin, or wherever you hold your Bitcoin, or any other cryptos, uh, this is basically where, you know, you're going to use your own due diligence and, and transfer out where you'd like. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to, to use Coinbase because I'm sure we all have heard of Coinbase. I'm sure most of us have a Coinbase account. Um, so if we hit withdraw, basically it's just gonna ask for your Bitcoin wallet address. So let's go over to Coinbase. So here in Coinbase, go to trade. Let's go to BTC. 
Bitcoin. And we want to receive Bitcoin. So we're going to hit receive. Here is your Bitcoin address. You're going to hit copy. Go back to Trade Ogre. And right here where it says address, you're going to paste. And your withdraw amount is going to be whatever you want to withdraw. I'm going to do the entire balance. So that's 0 0.0001400. Okay, so it subtracts the fee out of there. Um, so that'll be my net um, amount that I receive. Uh, so I think that's it. And then we're going to hit withdraw. And now this is where the authentication comes into play. So go back to your Google Authenticator. Trade Ogre, you're going to copy, go back and paste submit and we're pending all right so now we have successful under status so let's go back to coinbase click on our bitcoin and if we look right here we have pending received bitcoin for two dollars and 42 cents uh, so i think overall we only lost about 40 cents during this whole thing if I remember correctly um, so that's not bad um, but basically from here it's pretty self-explanatory um, you know your your Bitcoin is in your coinbase account and you can transfer that out however you see fit um, so as far as I know uh, that's that's basically it if there's anything else that you guys might have questions about um, Definitely feel free to leave it in the description, but um, I think that basically covers most of it. Um, I hope this helped you guys. I hope this is what you wanted, and um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.